It says he's no longer roaming. <laughs> you don't say, huh? All right, you guys, welcome back to, <coughs> excuse me, Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is 6 o'clock in the morning, but we have a thunderstorm coming in. I spent the night in this rock, but unfortunately, I carved out to the top of it. And, oh, look at this. This is fortuitous. We have a cave. Well, that's not fortuitous. Uh, we're going to have to take that guy out. I've got the poison medicine stuff now, though. So let's nail him. There's a couple of them. Uh, anyway, I spent the night just under that rock. And I thought about trying to get, get out and get a, a bedroll down so I could sleep through the night. But the problem is there was a bear around, like... All night long and very close to me and I just didn't want to move so yeah I kind of decided that might not be the best idea okay <clears throat> so we can um, hang out in this cave during the thunderstorm uh, especially during the red you know the red part that's gonna be the worst but even if we're just Oh, he just re... Didn't I just kill that guy? All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and knife his ass. Okay, there was one... Yeah, there's one further back. I mean, I'd rather not get hit by them, but... I definitely don't want to get hit by lightning. Okay. All right, so he's down. Um, and actually, while we're in here, we could get some water, too, because my water skins are out. I'm not in too bad a shape. In fact, let's um, eat that, that, and that. That'll get us back in good shape with food and everything. Hopefully, we don't get uh, pneumonia while we're in here. But even pneumonia is better than getting struck by lightning, man. I want to get to the water. We might have more worms. Yeah. Oh shit, we get a parasite. Of course we do. Of course we do. Okay. Um, let's run out really quick just to remove the pneumonia thing and then back in. I don't know how that actually works if it really actually removes it or not. I, I mean, resets it, rather. But, I mean, if we get pneumonia, we get pneumonia. We gotta wait out this lightning storm. Ugh. <laughs> it's scary. And then what we're gonna do after this passes is we're gonna go uh, back down to the edge of this valley go all the way to the end of it just so we can say that we've explored all the way to the extreme north well actually more like southeastern end of the map we are a long ways away from home too um but you know I mean, we're okay we got plenty of oxygen water's not hard to come by um if i absolutely have to i can stop and build a campfire to cook some food so we're not in that bad of shape we have uh, 25 flint arrows our bows at about 60%, so that's something to, that we have to take into account. Okay, so the red part of the storm is done. Let's hop back out here for a second. That tree got hit. Um, just because I'd rather not get pneumonia. I think the lightning's done now. And once the gauge in the upper right-hand corner gets into the green, we should stop taking storm exposure damage. So as long as the lightning's done, I think we're okay. Uh, oh, there's a buffalo right there. Let's 
he going to come after us or what is he going to do? He might not even know where we're at. Here, let's go back in here just to get that storm exposure down a little more. Should the worst of it should be passing here in just a few moments. Okay, let's get back out. I do not want to get pneumonia right now. Okay, let's start working our way this way. Um, as I mentioned, still sounds like there might be lightning. As I mentioned, um, there was a bear hanging out in this area damn near all night long and that's why I decided well I'm just not gonna move so I, I kept the game running and I just did some editing while I waited and uh, you know the bear didn't fortunately detect us so we ended up being okay but it's a little bit of a harrowing night man might not be the best idea for us to be leaving fresh meat around for the bear to come by him. Now that I think about it. <laughs> okay, so we have gotten past the worst of the storm. Um, so let's go see what's at the end of this valley. Uh, no, I didn't need that. Okay, there's another wolf. That was a pretty big cave. That looks like that might be a cave over there, too. Oh, that's a boar. Look at that, man. All kinds of critters over here. Look at that. All right, cool. Level 40 boar, too. I'm glad we headshotted him or he might have wrecked us. <laughs> 12 meat. Uh, I should have read what that said. It said one of nature's most something something creatures. I'll have to go back and look at the video. Oh, nope. Here. Take all. We don't have room. Okay, let's drop these bones. Let's drop this stone. Here. Okay. Those are deer. Rabbits, deer and rabbits. I'm not worried about them. There's another bear up here. I can hear him. I don't see him yet. There's another buffalo too. No, don't jump. Over the edge, stay up there. There, okay. <laughs> All right, darn it, the buffalo ran away. I was gonna see if we could hit him from up here. I don't know what that thing is down there. Sounds like the bear is just a little bit off to the left. Oh, there's a Oh, those are deer. Okay. That's probably a rabbit. Yeah, I think that's a rabbit. All right. That might be the bear, like, way over there. I don't know if we can even shoot that far. Let's see. Oh, we can shoot that far. We just didn't hit him. He's going to... He's going behind the hill, so we can't get to him now. I wonder if we kill this deer, if it'll attract the bear... Well, we have to kill him first. We're going to play that game. Well, let's um Let's move over this way since we know there's a bear that way. And look around. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh wow, it opens up and keeps going that way. Oh, it looks like that might go off into the snow. 
Interesting. If we could get a hold of some ice, we could make an ice box, but the problem with that is it's so damn far away. Hey, we've traveled 50 kilometers. Look at us and our bad selves. I don't mind trying to fight the bear if we have plenty of open space. Oh, I should make that deep cuts uh, bandage thing too. Uh, so we need some fiber. Yeah, let's make one of these so we have it ready. In case worse happens. Uh, we don't need the leather down there. Let's get rid of sticks and the rest of that fiber. Oh boy. Uh, let's get rid of these bones. Can we consolidate meat at all? Not really. Okay. Uh, our Wait, where did our bandage go? Did it fall off on the ground? Let's put our poison thingy up here. Uh, fiber stick. Oh man, did it? It must have fallen on the ground. I don't know where it's at. Let's put the leather up here. I guess we can put this back down here because we have a spot there for the bandage. Uh, I just don't know where it went. Shoot, that sucks. Did it pop out away from us a little further? Alright, well, let's just make another one. They're not that expensive. What do we need? Uh, fiber. Gonna make two of them. Oh, three of them. They should pop down into our number nine slot. There they go. Okay. So that way, you know, if the bear really nails us hard, we can use those for the deep wounds. Okay, let's drop these and these. I know we can purchase backpacks from the the workshop. For later on uh, which will be nice but that's not gonna happen anytime soon I guess <clears throat> all right let's go see what's kind of down through here oh, we lost our buffs uh, let's keep those and those that treat us up more slots though I'm gonna grab more berries as we come across them we can stack those up too okay we're doing good, man. We're doing good. The size of this world is just amazing. It is huge. So it looks like this is the end of the map for here. And those berries. Alright, what's down off this way? kind of a lower down area. Oh, careful. Be careful. Sometimes the char your character you know, darts out further than you intend for him to. There's some more caves over here. That's good to know. We don't really need to go in there, though. Let's just see what this uncovers. Yep, yeah, that definitely goes into the snow biome. That's interesting. I don't believe we are equipped to do that right now, though. There's some watermelons. We'll take those. Any more? Not that I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this, uh, you know, this little 30-day drop where we can just kind of chill and enjoy the map and learn the game. I'm, uh, I'm digging it. Yeah. Wouldn't mind trying to bring down some 
prey as bait. It's a level 37 wolf. Good sized wolf. Oh, well, we headshotted him. Let's get him for the XP. May not be able to keep all the stuff though. Yeah. Yeah, let's um <clears throat> uh let's throw out this. I want to definitely keep the hide and the leather for sure. Um Okay. How are we doing, by the way? Eh, we are about 40% on our way towards the next level. Is this another cave, or is this just a glitchy something or other? Oh, that kind of goes off into no man's land. Okay, let's not go in there. That might not work out so well for us. Okay, we're going to go just a short ways into the snow biome because I want to. Whether or not that's a good idea, I don't know. Oh, he's running away from us. Are they randomly hostile? I don't know. The very first one we found in yesterday's episode, that guy looked like he was charging us immediately. Sure, kind of seemed that way anyway. Alright, let's get into stealthy stealth mode here. <sighs> Got just a little level 6 wolf there. Oh, there's another boar. Okay. <clears throat> I want to nail this boar because I want to see what that note said about him. He could probably inflict deep wounds, wounds with his tusks, I'll bet. Let's go see what it says about him. The remains of one of nature's most feral creatures. Huh. Level 49, too. Yowzers. Okay. Okay, we can't take all of his stuff, so let's get rid of those. And I'm just doing this for the XP, even though I know I don't have room for it. What did the game say about the buffalo when we killed it? Should we try and take him down again? It says he's no longer roaming. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say, huh? You don't say. All right. Take that and once again, ditch the bones and get the XP for harvesting the bones that we don't have room for. He's no longer roaming. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty accurate assessment. Now let's look at the map. I wonder why it takes so damn long to update. Well, that didn't really give us much of an update, did it? Okay, let's go this way. That almost looked like a, a stack of stone that somebody put down. Mostly just skinning these guys again for the XP. I don't know. I've probably said that a million times now, but... Uh, well, and we do want the the leather and the fur, too, so... Oh, I hear a bear. Yep, there he is. Okay, let's see what if we can figure out what level he is. Oxygen's low. Okay, we're good on O2. I'd like to know what level this bear is. Oh, 
Oh, for goodness sakes. Stupid weather. Snowstorm. That's probably just because we're by the snow. It's probably a normal storm back here. Well, I think the bear went around the corner, didn't he? See, now we're actually in the snow biome. Alright, well, damn it. We can't mess with the bear and a storm at the same time. That would not be wise. Hello, wolf. Oh, is it not weathering here? It's just in the snow. Oh, how interesting. I figured it would weather like the weather would be everywhere. So it just applies to the biome. How interesting. Okay. What happens if we go back... So yeah, it is it is doing the snowstorm thing. Let's get rid of that, take all of that, and we don't have room for that leather. Can we do both of those? Yeah, okay. And let's do both of those too. Now we're gonna bring back a ton of leather. Can we do all of these? Not quite. Alright, so we are now in a snowstorm. And now we're not in a snowstorm. Snowstorm? Not snowstorm. Snowstorm? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are going, uh... Okay, come on, dude. Let's get on with things. Okay. Uh, where is that bear? So we are cold. Very cold. Um, but I don't know what happened to the to the bear. I see the buffalo. Oh. Is that him way over there? No, I don't know. All right, well, this is not doing anything for us. We got to get the hell out of here. What happens when we are cold? It is not good. Yeah, not good at all. That's what happens when you are cold. So let's not be cold anymore. All right, guys. Well, we have pretty much explored as far to the east and south, well, southeast, that we can go. But there is some more area up here. Um, Based upon the fact, though, that we're right at the end of the map, I think that's probably going to end up there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hike up there. And when we get to this point, I'll bring you back and just show you what is there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Man, this day really got away from us. Can't believe how late it is already. It's 6 o'clock. Uh, but I'm pretty close to this other area. And it's kind of looking, by just looking at the mountains, that it doesn't go any further. But let's get close enough so we can confirm that. And then uh, it'll be time to head home, which I'm going to have to do in the dark unless I make myself a bedroll and put it like underneath the boulder which I could do or even in a cave I guess for that matter uh, let's just go here let's actually look at the map now it should open up in a second and then it'll show us for sure actually you know what though there looks like there might be a northern passage there well, uh, does that keep going maybe it does I don't think so. It just goes way far back in here, but it doesn't keep going. Let's grab these berries here. Yeah, okay. It definitely stops right there. Um, There was 
another passage though that looked like it went further north so let's see if we can run over there really quick before it gets too dark to see anything this has been a, a fun little expedition though just kind of exploring the map a bit um, we need some O2 we are almost to the next level too uh, so let's consume that we still have a, a whole another bladder there too so we're we're fine you know in the worst case scenario we can always just get the oxide directly too if we have to but these bladders work pretty darn good all right let's look at the map yeah we want to keep going kind of around this corner up here and I just want to see if it continues on to the north or not so we know you know if there's a passage there for future reference Look at that view. It's just amazing. I love it. Oh, shit. It's getting too dark. It is getting too dark. But we, we got to get around this bend here. To see if it continues on or not. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does because the, there's a break in the mountains there. I mean, I, I could... Technically, I could stay out indefinitely and keep exploring the problem is is my inventory's full of leather and stuff that I definitely want to keep but we have confirmed that this does continue on and we got our level up too nice all right skin this guy for the xp Oops. Okay, so yeah, this continues on. Wow, look at that. Oh, I just run right into a bear or something. I just want to. I wonder if it goes to like a new biome, or if it's just more of the forest biome. This place is huge. And we're still only in the southeastern part of the the map, too. Oh, out of bounds, return to the playable area. Okay. So, okay, yep. I'm done it, I'm done it, I'm done it. So what's over there, then? Is that, like, does that, like, get into the desert biome, maybe? Let's just see what happens. Well, see, the map doesn't open up anymore. Let's just run out there really quick. What's it, what's it do? Uh, oh, shit. You know what? That might kill us. I don't know if it kills us or just teleports us back. We don't want to die. No, 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 no. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> it just occurred to me that might kill us. I thought, I was thinking it would just teleport us, but maybe it kills us. Without all that red warning and stuff? Yeah, that was close. That would have been... A major bummer if we would have died right there okay well we know we can't go any further than that man apparently we can go into the snow biome but that must be uh, I don't know what's up there maybe it's not even maybe it's not even implemented yet or something but anyway all right well oh shit we can't go that way either how do we get out of here I think we came around this way. Is this? Oh, yeah, this is going back. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, um, because my inventory is full, uh, what I'm going to basically do is uh, work my way back home. But this time I'm going to kind of stay on the northern side of the canyon. Maybe poke my head up there and see, you know, what's that way. And try and open up some of this. It looks like, based upon these little grid line thingies, that there might be more up there. Um, but I'm not going to go way out of my way because, again, I got a full inventory. I don't want to lose it. I want to get it home. And so, you know, we're mostly going to go home, but maybe go a little, little this way. 
and I'll keep, you know, well, the, the other problem with hunting is I only have nine arrows left. So, yeah, that's a thing, too. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go directly home, and then we'll do another exploration going up this way at some other point in time. But, nevertheless, we are out of time in this episode. I'm going to put a waypoint down there. So I will see you guys in the next episode, and we'll figure out what our next move is. Oh, actually, though, before I let you go, why don't we do our points? All right, so talents. I think, like I said, we're done with the solo tree. I might put points into these things later on, but I'm not going to do it right now. So let's look at what does survival do. So this gives us more movement speed, more health, stamina regen during a storm. Uh, this is just more stamina in general. That reduces the rate of food spoiling longer. Oh, this increases buff duration. That gets uh, crops growing faster. That's nice. Weight capacity. Stone mining, foraging, lumber yield. Okay, that's all pretty good stuff. What? The, uh, but I think what I'd like to do is make my bow... Uh stronger or my arrow stronger increased arrow damage quick arrow speed oh that's kind of neat bullseye accuracy oh that would be a good one too this is all melee stuff right what's this oh this is blades okay pistol handling firearms neat all right well let's uh you know bow the bow is still of our, our principal weapon so let's start putting some points into this. So bow agility, uh, which in and of itself is not that great, but cheap bow. Stamina consumed by bow actions. Reload speed of bows. Let's see, I don't know if we can get to this from here. So let's just go with this. Okay. And then tech tree. Okay, so for tech tree... Um... I think, oh, for goodness sakes, what do we got? Frickin' thunderstorm. I don't know if there's a... A cave around here or not. Yeah, let's just, uh... Find a rock to burrow in, I guess. That one's a little thin. Yeah, this one should work. Oh shit, hurry up. This thing zaps me in the ass while I'm trying to get in here. I'm not going to be a happy camper. Okay. I think we're safe. Whew, scary, man. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, Alright, let's go back to the tech tree. So, oh, uh, what is the priority here? Um, probably, you know, these pace are something we should be thinking about at some point. We got everything on that end. But let's look at tech too. So, Icebox doesn't do us any good until we can get ice. Taxidermy knife, what does that do? Oh, that's just a knife. Okay, 100% yield from skinning. Oh, and a chance to get trophies. That's kind of cool. Oh, I, I want to try the crossbow bolt. We also wanted to get iron hammers, copper bolts, steel bolts. So we have to get to level 20 before we can... Uh, do steel. Trophy bench, cooking station, pot belly stove. Uh, we also have the textiles bench and the herbalism bench. And then more stone building items. Okay. Um, so for now, I think we're going to try the crossbow out. What would we use a shovel for, I wonder? So yeah, let's try the crossbow and the iron bolt. 
Is the copper bolt better than the iron bolt? I wouldn't think so. 85 to 95. 81 to 90. 20% projectile break chance. Oh, the copper's actually better than the iron. 85 to 95. 81 to 90. I mean, by a pretty insignificant amount, amount but still. Uh, we could just, we could start doing flour for bread because I think when we make the bread stuff, um, we get an XP bonus. So there's that option. Um, it's either that or we go back to tier one and we get another one of the medical things. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to want all this stuff eventually. So we can get the parasite um, from drinking the water. That says reduces the effects of festering wounds. This is the one for concussions and contusions. This is the one for food poisoning and low-grade infections. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking... Uh, well, let's just hold off on that. I'm not going to do the copper bolts because it's not enough. I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, so we got the herbalism image. What does this do? Craft, create, concoct. I'm not sure exactly what that gets us. It doesn't tell us. This would allow us to make leather armor, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with leather armor when we get back to the base. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. Lightning storm's over. So I've got... Uh, oh, that just broke. So we've got to walk back in the dark. I still am just using the wood torch. Or I mean the rag torch, but it works. It's cheap, but it works. Uh, so we need some fiber, sticks, and sulfur. To make another one of those. Oh, man. Okay. That might be fun for me to find. But anyway, I will... I'll worry about that. I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We have a deer stuck in a stone here. And we got a couple wolves nearby. We killed them too. All right. Anyway, I got to let you guys go. <laughs> I will see you in the next episode back at the base and we'll do whatever the next thing is. Well, we do, we do want to make that armor bench so we can get leather armor. So we'll do that and have some more adventures. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.